Hi, I'm Sabina with Double Jump Gaming News, and I'm here with this game, Ego. I'm here with the producers, who are... I'm Derek Beck. I did programming. I'm Andrew Erlwig. I was the project manager. I'm Lawrence Granroth. I was the artist. I'm Evan Campbell. I did the level design and art. All right, so to start everything off, tell me how you... Tell me about your game. Uh, so Ego is a game, it's a first person shooter in the vein of like Doom or Quake. Um, we really tried to harken back to older shooters where it was just really fast paced, just you know, shoot stuff and get through the level. So out of everything in the game, what was probably the most difficult thing for you guys to do? Um, the enemy character model. Uh, it's kind of complicated, requires rigging bones and stuff together, which is something I haven't done before. We didn't really have a design down until about like a week before it was like due as our capstone project. So we were just kind of like, let's just get something in there. So, out of everything in the game, what is each of yours favorite aspect of it? Uh, my favorite one is the enemies, how they just attack and super hard now. Um, the last two days, it went to easy to it's to a point that I can't beat it sometimes. So, I like the weapon designs. Um, I think they're interesting. I just like how fast-paced the game is. It's just a lot of fun to run through it. I really enjoy the sprite-based artwork. Uh, I think it just looks really nice. All right, so now that you've seen your game compared to everyone else's, would there have been anything you would have changed now that you've seen it completely finished? I don't know. I, I was, there is a lot of great games. Um, I really don't know what I would have changed about it compared to other games. <laughs> I really don't know. No, yeah, overall, your guys' game looks really cool. I think it's awesome, and it's a little better than the other games. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, they're all amazing. Well, I'm Sabina Rizlowski with Double Jump Gaming News, and stay tuned for more on the MAGD Expo of 2016.